Hello, disciples. This week marks a grim milestone in the U.S. Over 100,000 lives have now been lost to the COVID-19 virus. This weekend, Christian, Muslim, and Jewish faith communities will offer lament in their worship services on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I invite you and your congregations to offer lament in your Sunday worship, not only to mark this profound loss of life, but to stand in solidarity for the health and safety of our communities. This week, another black man, George Floyd, was killed when a police officer in Minneapolis pressed his knee into Mr. Floyd's neck, even though Mr. Floyd repeatedly said, I can't breathe. For seven minutes, the police officer pressed his knee into Mr. Floyd's humanity and killed him. So disciples, if we say that we are a pro-reconciliation, anti-racism church, we must choose every day to do the things that are necessary to be who we say we are. And that means not only standing up, but speaking up and acting in solidarity without fear. Those first believers in the upper room on that Pentecost were empowered and emboldened by the Holy Spirit to not only tell the story, but to reimagine themselves as community and to reimagine themselves as followers of Jesus in relation to a wider community. They knew Jesus, but it wasn't until the Holy Spirit came that they had the power and courage to do what was necessary to be who they said they were and who Jesus called them to be. There is a song by Harold Melvin in the Blue Notes called Wake Up Everybody. The chorus of that song ends with these words. The world won't get no better if we just let it be. We gotta make it right, you and me. May you feel the fresh wind and fresh fire of the Holy Spirit empowering you, emboldening you, giving us all courage to do what is necessary to be who we say we are.